Number one, a publishing company is interested in the number of books read each year by people. They send out 50 volunteers to conduct a research, um, to conduct research by collecting samples of 20 people and determining the number of books that the group read in the previous year. After looking at the sample means, the company estimates that the mean of the number of books read is 12.4 and the margin of error is 2.4. Based on these values, what interval is likely to contain the true mean number of books? So what interview is likely to contain that true mean? So you learned um, in this lesson that um, you would take the mean plus or minus the margin of error. And the margin of error is defined by two standard deviations. And then we would just add or subtract this to the mean. So they just gave us the margin of error and they gave us the mean. So we're just going to do 12.4 plus 2.4. That's going to give us our upper limit of 14.8. And then we're going to do 12.4 minus 2.4. And that will give us our lower boundary of 10. So we would expect the true mean to be between 10 and 14.8. Number two, based on surveys of random samples of people in town, the proportion of people interested in a new chain restaurant opening in their town is 0.42 with a standard deviation of 0.07. Which intervals is the smallest likely to contain 95% of the sample proportions? So remember that 95% of data is between the margin of error or two standard deviations away from your mean. And so our mean here is 0 0.42. And then they're giving us standard deviation of 0 0.07. So then within two standard deviations is going to be 95% of our data. So we would, you can add this twice or you can double it and add that. Okay, but 0 0.42 plus 0 0.07 is 0.49 and then add 0.07 again and you get 0.56 for that upper limit. Subtract 0.7 and you get 0.35. Subtract 0.07 again and you get 0.28 for your lower limit. So then between 0.28 and 0.56. Number three, 10 random samples of 20 people each are used to determine the proportion of people who support a local soccer team over um, other soccer teams in the league. The, the portions for the samples are given. What does um, the proportion 0.85 mean in this situation? So 0.85 means 85% of the 20. So 85% or 17 out of 20 is 85%. So 17 out of 20 people um, surveyed support the local soccer team or are fans of the local soccer team. The mean of the sample proportion is 0.75. The standard deviation is 0.08. What margin of error should we use to estimate um, the population uh, proportion? So remember that the margin of error is equal to two standard deviations. And so if the standard deviation here is 0.08, we would, we would just add that twice or subtract that twice um, from 0.75. So we would go, um, oh, it, sorry, it wanted just the, just the margin of error. So just multiply that by twice. We don't need to add it to this. So just the margin of error is going to be 2 times 0 0.08. So that's going to be 0 0.16. So 2 times the standard deviation gives you that margin of error. 0.16 in this case. Number four, a scientific report says that the proportion of the population that is left-handed is 0.1 with a margin of error of 0.02.
is 0.07 a plausible estimate? So use the margin of error to come up with an interval. So let's do um, 0.10 plus 0.02 and minus 0.02. So minus 0.02 would give us 0.08 for our lower limit. Um, and then 0.1 plus 0.02 would give us 0.12 for our upper limit. So our, our proportions of left-handed people should be between these two numbers. If they're outside of that number, then it's not a plausible estimate. So 0.07 is not plausible because 0 0.07 is outside of the margin for error for the situation. 0 0.087 is between there. So this one is plausible because 0 0.087 is within the margin for error. And then 0 0.128 is not plausible because it's outside of, it's too big. So not plausible, again, because it is outside Of the margin for error. Number five, a restaurant offers five appetizers that the manager thinks sell equally well. After looking over the sales for the previous month, the sales are as follows. For each of the appetizers, 17%, 23, 22, 17, 21. Based on these results, is the manager's thinking accurate that they sell equally well? So 100% divided by five means that each appetizer, if they're selling exactly equally well, would be 20%. Um, and so do these sell equally well? So I would say yes. Um, because the appetizers should each sell around 20%. And all of these numbers are right around 20%. We don't have one selling 40% of the time, one selling 5% of the time. They're all pretty close to each other, right? You don't have any outliers. So I would say, yes, they sell pretty equally well. Number six, create a dot plot that displays a distribution with at least nine data points. So we need nine data values and it needs to be symmetric, okay? Meaning the same on either side. So your answers are gonna vary for this so you can do what you want. Um, just have to have nine data points like it says and it has to be symmetric. So if you wanted to make one with three dots in the middle, so that's three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that would be symmetric. Um, you could do something like this. One, two, three on the outsides. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, that would be symmetric as well. Um, so you can kind of do whatever you want, but that's two different examples there.